Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is going to be talking about the mic options you have available to you when setting up audio for recording. So I'll get straight into this. So the first mic I'm showing you here is a, it's kind of a hacked mic. You'll see that in my old video. It was actually a, a lead for my headphones, which had a mic built on it. And because the lead allowed me to record into my mobile phone and it had this little clip on it, I basically fold, folded it over and put a little um, that foam thing I had from another mic and this is the actual mic I've been using for a lot of my videos so everything I've recorded up until this point has been recorded off camera um, into my mobile phone onto the Rec Forge Light app and that um, allows you to monitor your levels and give a bit of a boost so I normally do like a plus seven boost I have this it's like a lavalier mic on my t-shirt and I use that um, it's about the right height um, in terms of putting it on your shirt, hiding it by the buttons and the lead goes into my pocket and the phone's in my pocket or I leave it on the table. And that works quite well I think. I get good audio considering it's like a bit of a DIY hack job. The tape there is just to hold the two wires together, it's shining you can see. And the mic there you've got to be able to close look at that. So that's one option I use. I'll show you what the audio sounds like on that now. Kind of uh well, building up, getting better, obviously, um, better clients and that kind of thing. But a lot of them have been mainly for people that wanted certain types of images, and I kind of supply those images um, in a timely frame. Now, obviously, it's all changed because once I did the shoot. Okay, so this uh, option here is the AKG mic. And this is something I've had for a while. I've used this for reporting type shoots that I've done in the past for fashion blogs. So when you interview um, the designers we use this mic it's the d230 akg made in austria it's a good solid quality mic it's all metal construction and i've had it for ages i'll say about two or three years I've, I've just had it in the drawer lying about and i'm actually using that right now with this voiceover on this video and um, it goes into audacity and i do a few checks which i'll link up in the video which i do a little uh, adjustments on the audio to make it a bit crisper but it's got a built-in top omnidirectional no, omni mic so it's actually quite good because it doesn't take any of the ambient noise it takes just the person speaking directly into it and the cage is built onto this which you'll see is actually quite good because it's got like a uh, normally you get the big foam, foam covers but this has actually got it built into the metal, metal cage so it stops any um, pop and kind of that kind of thing so it's quite a handy mic it's got a good hold to it so when I do voiceovers I'm sitting in front of the computer I do like using it because it's got a good weight to it and it feels nice and you can see how the quality of this sound this is the Canon EF 50mm 1.4 lens it was first released in June 1993 this lens weighs 290 grams and has 8 blade diaphragm with 6 groups of 7 elements the maximum aperture of 1.4 and minimum f22 this lens is great for shallow depth of field effects okay guys so this one here is the third option is the purple panda lavalier lapel microphone it's omni omnidirectional condenser mic and it's a clip-on one so you can see here based on these close-ups that it's a, a decent quality mic it's got a metal um in a cage and it comes in a kit so you get a few extras with it and i'll show you what that sounds like um here this is the purple panda mic and I'm talking directly into this um, there's no muff, um, no sound suck on it so if I touch that hello testing one two three testing one two three so it's the same recording settings as I was using on the old mic I've just swapped the mic over to this one and you'll instantly hear what it sounds like recording into the phone hi right, guys so this last one here is a boya mic it's been getting quite a good um, response online and because of that response i've got one in just to test it out and um, it's a boya mini shotgun mic similar to the road mic that's the the mini version they do it's like a bit basically a copy of that i think and the dead cat you get on it is quite a big one and it's I don't like it because it sheds so if you put it in your camera gear or anywhere it's actually pieces of hair everywhere from this like a bit of an animal shedding away it's a good size mic it kind of fits in your hand it's good construction it's quite solid in terms of the build and um, I've kind of had mixed things with this because when I got it it was broken so I had to kind of contact the buyer and they, they offered me a refund of the money and all that business but I was like you know I need the mic 
but can you just not send me the stand the holder because it looks like it's broken um, and I've tried gluing it but it hasn't worked very well to try and hold it back in place it's like a bit of a shock mate so I'm struggling with this one um, I, I, I'm recording on a 550D and that doesn't let you kind of control the audio levels so it's not been great for me this mic I've tried it and I've not really liked it so I'm, I'm assuming it's me because everyone online gives great reviews about it um, I have got another camcorder, a uh, HDC Panasonic that I might put this into just to test and see what it's like. Um, so that's an option for this mic. Um, but you can see here, look how flimsy it is from that stand, the red stand that kind of just broke. Um, but yeah, I'll give you some samples of this audio at the end of this clip now just to let you know how that is. But it's a good size and it fits nicely onto the camera. It looks kind of the part because it looks professional. Um, in terms of audio quality, I'll let you guys decide and see what that sounds like to your ears. Uh, but it comes in a little case and it has a dead cat and there's a couple of extra leads that you can use for recording into your smartphone or if it's into um, a camera. So in the pouch, it's not a leather pouch, but it's like a little baggy thing that you can keep everything in together. Um, but yeah, that's my overview of the mics and I'll give you a bit at the end now just to show you what this one sounds like in my camcorder. So... Hopefully this has been helpful for you and do check out my first version of this video if you want to see how I made the first mic that I showed you. Okay, this is the Boya mic plugged straight into the Canon 550D and it's recording into the camera. I'm facing the camera away but I have the shotgun, the mini shotgun mic pointed about four, three, four inches away from my face. I'm talking directly into the mic. There's no dead cat on this mic at the moment. This is how it handles silence using the mic non microphone port jack okay now this is recording with the boya mic plugged straight into the hdc 700 camcorder i can hear the vocals in my earphones so i've plugged it in as well and this has the dead cat on Okay, so this is me recording into the Boya mic from behind the camera and that's not too bad but it's pointing away from me so if I now point it towards me yeah so I'm recording into the Boya mic pointing straight towards me on the handycam and this mic is pointing about one foot away from me so that's not too bad I don't think it sounds okay because I've got the earphones plugged in However, it'll be interesting to see what it sounds like on the PC. Okay guys, so that was my overview of these mics. There's a few options here. Um, it's quite a short video and there's not much detail. But I will have a playlist of microphones that you can look into and hear the full specs and unboxing of all these mics I've got here. So I hope this has been helpful for you.